Let's write the structure for 3-ethyl-2-methyl-pentane. So we can see when we look at the pentane, we have this A-N-E. That means we have what's called an alkane. So it'll all be carbon single bonded together. So we know that we'll have single bonds between our carbons. Pent, that means five. So we're going to have five single bonded carbon atoms. That'll be our longest chain. That'll look like this. And we can number these one through five. So this is pentane, our longest chain. We can see then that on the second carbon, carbon number two right here, we have a methyl group. So a methyl group, that's just another carbon with hydrogens around it. So on the second carbon here in pentane, we're going to put a methyl group. That looks like this. So far, we have our 2-methyl pentane. Now, on the third carbon right here, we're going to put an ethyl group. And an ethyl group is two carbons single bonded. That looks like this. So this is the structure for 3-ethyl-2-methyl pentane. Again, we have our longest chain, five carbons. That's our pentane, all single bonds. On the second carbon right here, we put this methyl group. And on the third carbon right here, we put the ethyl group. 3-ethyl-2-methyl pentane. At this point, we've not added the hydrogens in, but each carbon is going to be bonded to four things. So we could put one, two, three, and there's four. Here we have one, two, three. We would add a hydrogen here, here, two on this one, and so on. And we could put all of our hydrogen atoms. Often, though, they're just not written. We just have our backbone here. And since we know it's an alkane, we know each carbon is bonded to four things. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for 3-ethyl, 2-methyl pentane. Thanks for watching.